Jeremiah 19. Let's do that to start it off. We ain't ready for that one. We ain't ready for that one. It's not that long, is it? Oh yeah, go ahead and do that. Yeah, read the whole thing. I said read the whole thing. Read the whole thing. 19, Jeremiah 19. Yeah, that's it. This is Jeremiah 19. Let's start at the top. Thus said the Lord, Go and get a potter's earthen bottle and take of the ancient of the people and of the ancients of the priests and go forth unto the valley of the son of Hinnom, which is by the entry of the east gate, and proclaim there the words that I shall tell thee. I want uh, real quick, so the valley of the son of Hinnom, that's hell. When you're when you read the New Testament, when it speaks about hell. That, that's Gehenna, that's the valley of the sun of Hinnom. That's where wicked Israelites was worshiping Baal and false gods, sacrificing children. But it, really right now, this right here is spiritually the valley of the sun of Hinnom. This place out here, this is hell. You know what I mean? It's a place of little demons and little wicked, evil little creatures. You know what I'm saying? When I look at these people out here, I see like little demons and little goblins. You know what I'm saying? Cause we got these spiritual glasses and we can see what's really there. We don't see people, we see a bunch of little damn demons. Devils running around. Mm -hmm. Now go ahead, that's why I said we live in hell. There's no such thing as hell. It's like when they say you're gonna die, you're gonna go to hell, burn forever. That's not in the Bible. But this is hell, this place we live in, this is hell. This wicked ass country we live in, this is hell. Yeah, because ain't nobody got no respect for the Bible at all. If you say that you're into the Bible, people are like, they laugh at you. They look at you like you're nothing. They look at you like you're stupid. When, when they're the ones that's stupid, you know what I'm saying? I'll go ahead. They say, hear ye the word of the Lord, O kings of Judah, and inhabitants of Jerusalem. That's thus a, oh, my fault, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, that's the Israelites. And we out here to teach the Israelites to wake up the elect of Israel. You go up. Thus said the Lord of hosts, the power of Israel, behold. He says he's the power of Israel, the God of Israel. Keep going. Behold, I will bring evil upon this place. So the Lord is going to bring evil upon this place right here. Keep going. The which whosoever heareth, his ears shall tingle. So when you hear this word, your ears is going to tingle. <laughs> You going? Because they have forsaken me. Because y'all forsaken the Lord. So if you forsaken the Lord, he's going to destroy you. Keep going. And estrange this place, and have burnt incense in it upon unto other gods who neither they nor their fathers have known. That's what they do right here in America. A lot of people, they worship uh, Buddha. They got little Buddha statues. They worship the Hindu gods. They worship the Anunnaki now. The motherfuckers worship the reptilians. How do you really have people to come up and tell you, like, yeah, I really think the reptilians, that's God. You can't make that up. And then they say that the Pharaoh really had a falcon head. So these people are insane. Keep going. Yeah, just like in their movies, they address the Pharaoh up with a falcon's mask or some shit. Man, they motherfuckers crazy. Because you got people that got little ISIS statues in their house. Oh, well, actually, when you, uh, when you celebrate Christmas, because the Bible said you ain't supposed to celebrate Christmas. But when you celebrate Christmas and you put a Christmas tree in your house, that Christmas tree represents Isis, the queen of heaven. And that season's coming back. And when you bake them cookies for Santa Claus, you're really baking them cookies for uh, the queen of heaven. And that's in the book of Jeremiah too. When, when the book of Jeremiah said the Israelites was baking cakes to the queen of heaven, that's talking about what our people do on Christmas. That's that same ancient tradition. That's an ancient tradition. Mm. Well, go ahead, read that part, part again at, uh, where you was at. Uh, they because, forsaken me. Because they have forsaken me. So these fools forsake the Lord. Keep going. And have estranged this place and have burnt incense in it unto other gods who neither they nor their fathers have known nor the kings of Judah and have filled this place with the blood of the innocent. Yeah, they filled the place with the blood of the innocent. You know, a main way they, the blood of the innocent with all these women, they gonna have abortions. And then the government, 
pretty much forces people to get abortions too. Oh yeah, my son, should have had that now. They have built also the high places of Baal to burn their sons with fire for burnt offerings unto Baal, which I commanded not, nor spake it, neither came it into my mind. Yeah, so these people actually sacrifice children out here too. When you go to Bohemian Grove out in California, they sacrifice the government, like all your famous politicians, they all sacrifice children to Baal. Keep going. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that this place shall no more be called Tophet, nor the or nor the valley of the sons of Hinnom. And right again, the Tophet, that's another name for Gehenna, or another name for the valley of the son of Hinnom, which is another name for hell. That's where people used to do all kind of wicked shit, sacrifice the false gods. Keep going. But the valley of slaughter. Uh, keep going. This is the point. This is a good I mean, point. They do call Ohio the Howl of <laughs> the Howl. This is the valley. Ohio valley. It's a great valley of wickedness out here, man. Right. These people are wicked as hell out here, man. Like, like the scriptures say, they're forsaken the Lord. Keep going. And I will make void the council of Judah. And actually, let me make another point. Because when these women have an abortion, what you really do is you're, making a, you're giving a sacrifice to Baal. But back in the ancient world, you take your baby and send it through the fire. And you send up a prayer to the devil. But now that's the same thing. Because you and we, like I said, we living in hell right, right now. So when these bitches have an abortion, that's the same thing as them giving a sacrifice to the devil. They sacrificing their children to Satan. Because they have a doctor do it too. A doctor, who's a doctor? A doctor. <laughs> Someone that took a Hermocratic oath, right? Took the oath of Hermes. They're a bunch of pagans. They use pagan symbolism. So they're a bunch of devil worship. And you'll come to find out, like a, most of these rich doctors, they actually worship the devil. They actually work, they're part of secret societies. Uh, keep going. Find out they ain't too old for freaking shit. Yep. Yeah, because there's a lot of reports like you go to the doctor and he'll put you under, and then while you're asleep, he'll like put his dick on your face. You know what I'm saying? Take pictures of it. So that's the type of shit they into. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, uh, that's why people are always finding uh, tools left in their body after surgery. That's because the doctor's left in them there on purpose. They're a bunch of devil worshippers. Oh, my fault. Elon, Jake, shit, Jake, too. And I will make void the council of Judah and Jerusalem in this place, and I will cause them to fall by the sword. So they're gonna make void the council of Judah. So all, all you poor choppy, hold on. All the poor choppy preachers, all you fake ass churches, all you churches out here teaching lies on the Bible, scattering the sheep. The Lord's gonna make your council a void. You ain't gonna have shit to say. And anything you say ain't gonna matter. It don't matter anyway. You know? Like the government, their council gonna be void. We trying to hear that shit. But the Senate, their voice is already void. And the president don't need no damn Congress. They say the council is void. That's right. So he has executive orders. Yeah, you got executive orders. The most high ain't with that shit, man. Most High is with destruction. That's what the Most High is going to bring, destruction. So that's why it's a good thing what Barack Obama is doing. So actually, he actually is a good president. You know why? Because he's going to bring destruction on this earth. Because the Lord's going to use him to bring fire on the earth. The Lord's going to use Obama to bring thermonuclear fire on the earth. That's what Obama, Obama's a war president. He's a killer motherfucker president. That's what he is. He's a straight up fucking gangster. A fucking ruthless motherfucker and a faggot. Keep going. And I will cause them to fall by the sword before their enemies and by the hands of them that seek their lives and their carcasses will I give to them to be meat for the fowls of the heavens. So that's what it's going to be after all this, all this death and destruction comes upon this land and upon all these other heathens abroad the earth. After all the dead bodies is gonna be laying in the streets and the birds is gonna have a feast on those dead bodies. Stuff. Yeah, they gonna the birds are gonna be living nice on that day. And their carcasses will I give to be meat for the fowls of the heaven 
and for the beast of the earth. A little bird coming down, poking out your eye, eating your eye. Just like a few seconds later, you thought you was the shit. Rock one would come to snatch your leg off. <laughs> and I will make this city desolate and in hissing. Everyone that passes thereby shall be astonished and hissed because all the plagues thereof. That says the same thing as Revelation the 18th chapter. In the Revelation 18, it said after Babylon the Great was destroyed, all the other nations, they were they, they pretty much hissed at it. You know what I mean? Mm. They were sad because it got destroyed. It is like a great destruction. It's like, oh shit. Mm. And that a it's gonna be a destruction that's never been seen on the face of the earth. Yeah, it's gonna be some amazing shit. Y'all don't understand. Y'all not have y'all ever heard of thermonuclear weapons? Do you know what a thermonuclear weapon is? Do you know that you know what a thermonuclear missile is? You know what an intercontinental ballistic missile is? <laughs> she kept shaking her head no. I mean, these people live in candy land. They live in motherfucking imagination land. They gonna get a first-hand experience with them. Cause man, these motherfuckers don't get it, man. These, these motherfuckers got missiles and the Lord's gonna make them shoot them missiles. How long have nuclear missiles been around? Since what? The, the World War II? 50s. Yeah, the early 40s. 40s, 40s mid 40s, 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 right? 40s. 40s. So, since that time, only two bombs have been dropped on people. So, but they got, how many missiles they got? Thousands and thousands of missiles. The, the Russians got thousands and thousands of nuclear missiles, thermonuclear missiles, excuse me. And, and America has thousands and thousands of thermonuclear missiles. So don't you think those missiles, they're gonna get shot and America's gonna be destroyed. That's all, it's just gonna be fire everywhere you see. Well, you're gonna be melted. If you ain't right with the most high, you're gonna get melted. Your eyes gonna melt away in their sockets. Your e ears, y'all, your flesh is gonna melt away and your, your skeletons is gonna turn to ash. And this is puff. I gotta appreciate that. Revelation 14 and 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is falling. It's falling. So Babylon, that's talking about America. Like I was just saying, America's gonna get destroyed in this World War III that's coming soon. So uh, if you wicked, if you ain't right with the Most High, you're gonna be destroyed. If you're an adulterer, an adulteress, if you're a wicked woman committing adultery, having sex with all kinds of men, you're gonna be destroyed. Okay, if you a man cheat, uh, having sex with your best friend's wife, you're gonna be destroyed. The Lord's gonna kill you. You go that great city because she made all the nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. So yeah, America, that's the land of fornication. America is the kingdom of Satan. So this is going to be destroyed. I, I mean, I, you, don't people out here believe in logic? Y'all believe in logic, right? Well, that, that's the logical thing that's going to happen is this place must be destroyed. And the Lord is going to destroy this place because this place is evil and it's wicked. Keep going. And the people are wicked. It, you know, it ain't the land that's wicked, it's the people. The people are wicked. And the third angel followed them, saying, with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High. Oh yeah, so that's talking about the mark of the beast. What's the mark of the beast? Soon the government it's going to force everyone to get implanted with a microchip. It's coming real soon. Soon, the government is going to force you to get implanted with a microchip. If you don't take that microchip, you don't eat. You don't get any food. You don't get a check. Okay, you don't get on a plane or a train. Rhyming now. Right. The same. Hey, the Lord's going to rhyme. We're going to sing a song when the Lord comes back. It's a, don't you think the Lord is the greatest rhymer of them all? Yeah, he a, he's got more musical talent than anyone. Right. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. So that, what's that cup of his indignation? That's the missiles, man. That's the motherfucking missiles. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. So that what's that fire and brimstone? When you read the Bible, and you see it talking about fire and brimstone, it's not talking about hell, okay? Because there's no such thing as hell. When you see fire and brimstone in the Bible, that's talking about missiles, thermonuclear missiles. 
So that's what's coming to you fools, man. Motherfucking missiles. Intercontinental ballistic. Because it always says the fire and the brimstone comes out the sky. Yeah. It didn't say it was down in hell. The fire and brimstone's coming out the sky. It's going to rain fire. That's why you read the Bible, because at first the, the Lord, he destroyed the earth with water. So now he's going to destroy it with fire. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Who's the Lamb? The Lamb's Yahweh Shai. That's the Son of the Most High. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. Oh, it said the smoke ascended forever and ever. So after this place gets destroyed by nuclear missiles, the smoke is going to ascend to the heavens forever. It's, it's going to stay smoking. Ain't nobody going to live here no more but little buzzards and little desert creatures, little scorpions, maybe a screech owl. You know what I'm saying? You can read about that in the book of Isaiah, the 34th chapter. Hey, get that, bro. We might as well get it. Because we coming out with all-out destruction. The, the, we ain't coming out with the Lord is bringing destruction. Totally destroyed. How are you? Ain't going to be no watered-down destruction. Oh, uh, it's gonna be pure. Waiting for the missiles. That's, that's your girlfriend? <laughs> Who's that? Uh, uh. Hey, she look alright. Go ahead. Shit, if a lot of these girls, they ain't gonna look too good after they get hit with them missiles. That's what's coming. If you ain't right with the most high, he's gonna destroy you. They about to, you know, you, you know America's about to go to war with Iran. Isaiah the fortieth chapter. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people. What did I say? Read that again. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people. Said the Lord Power. Go ahead. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished and that her iniquity is pardoned, for she has received the Lord's hand double for all her sins. So all you people out here being wicked as can be, talking about you an atheist, you an agnostic, you a feminist, you a, you a liberal, the Lord going to return out to you double your wicked works. He going? The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness. So we crying in the wilderness. It's a jungle out here. Like Guns N' Roses had that song, uh, Welcome to the Jungle. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's the other song, that rap song. It's like a jungle sometimes. You know what I'm saying? What's it? Who played that? Great the rap song. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah so it's like a. Yes. That's probably where. I keep from going under. That's probably where Axel stole that from. You know? I'll go ahead. It is a jungle out here. That's why we cried out in the wilderness. It's wild out here. Go ahead. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Oh, oh, go ahead. Make straight in the desert. And really, that's what. For our power. Oh, I'll cut you off. Read that good. again, bro. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our power. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. So that's why we preparing the way for the Lord. Because we telling you he's about to come. He just ain't going to come, show up without warning you. You know what I'm saying? We tell you he's, he's about to make an appearance. We're telling you now. That's right. So that's why you got to prepare the way for the Lord. If you ain't doing that, then the Lord is going to destroy you. Going. And the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. And the crooked's gonna be made straight. Everybody knows all these politicians is crooked. Politics is crooked. The corporations is crooked. The teachers is crooked. Everybody's crooked. Your mama's, you know? crooked. your mama's crooked. Your grandma's crooked. Ain't shit straight, but the Lord's gonna make everything straight. Ain't gonna be no more baby mama drama with some retarded bitch running her mouth. You know what I mean? What the hell is going on over here? Oh, go ahead. And the glory of the Lord shall be, shall be revealed. It look like Dave Chappelle or something. <laughs> and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. The voice said, cry. And he said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withered, the flower faded, because the spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the people is grass. Damn. Yeah, so the Lord, he's hey. he doing he's cutting the grass. <laughs> he cutting the grass. He cutting the more out. Oh, yeah, yeah, but grass, grass withereth. You know what I'm saying? 
when that heat come out, they're gonna get hit by that nuclear east wind. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The Lord gonna hit them with that big ass. That's gonna be that real east wind. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. The grass withered, the flower faded, but the word of our power shall stand forever. That's why, yeah, it's just like the gospel says. He says what? He said the world will pass away, but my word's gonna abide forever. So I, these people can talk all the shit they want to. They can say, oh, the Bible's bullshit, it's not true. But guess what? When you die, no one's going to remember you. But they're going to remember the words of the Bible. That's still going to be here. I mean, you, you, you know, see what I'm saying? Like a, like a proud bitch will come up and she'll say the Bible's bullshit. But when she, well, her, her name might be Amy Jones or something, right? To claim to but when she dies, no one's going to remember Amy Jones. O Zion, that bringeth good tidings, get thee up into the high mountain, O Jerusalem, that bringeth good tidings. Lift up thy voice with strength. Are oh, you supposed to lift up your voice with strength? I'm not supposed to be ever talking like this. Like, hey guys, you hear about that one scripture, guys? It, that's why people always get mad at us when we talk with a loud voice. They're like, why are you talking so loud? They get scared or something. You know what I mean? Lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up, be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, behold your power. Behold, the Lord power will come with strong hand and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him and his works before him. Yeah, he said his, he said his, yeah. That's the reward. Yeah, he said the reward is with him. So when the Lord's coming, that's our reward right there. First of all, we're gonna get beamed up. Because while America's getting hit with these nuclear missiles, boom, 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 boom. we're going to get beamed up by the chariots. And we're going to be up out of here. You know what I mean? Pass some missiles by the country. Shit, yeah, we might come down riding on a missile. The Lord gives us spiritual power. And we, we just come down riding on a missile like the Silver Surfer. You know what I'm saying? Then jump off and just blow your ass up. That's the kind of type of shit. I think about creating shit in ways of destroying people, man. Because there's a scripture that says, uh, that, uh, you're gonna meditate terror. Your heart to meditate terror. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom. And shall gently lead those that are with young who have measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and met in our heaven with the span and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure. He said he comprehended the dust of the earth in the measure. Mm. So can your scientists do that? Hey, they guesstimate. They oh, weight the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance. Who have directed the spirit of the Lord or being his counselor have taught him? With whom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who taught, who taught, who taught the most, who taught the Lord how to create the universe and create all existence? Can y'all do that? Can y'all make a sun? You ever see a scientist create a sun? Create a planet. You ever see that shit before? See a scientist create a moon? He can't even make a moon, let alone a motherfucking planet. Shit is weak, son. Step up your game, devil. Yeah, you step up your game, devil. Have you ever seen a scientist create a planet? Step up your game, devil. I'm sure there's a science to it. I don't know how the most high did it, you know? I'm sure he got he had to guess how he did it. Yeah, he knows what he was doing, I'm sure. Obviously. Cause this shit's working, ain't it? We it's breathing, been working. We're breathing and walking. <laughs> Look, you know how you turn the light bulb off, you know, serve, conserve energy and shit. Yeah. You don't see that motherfucker turning off. Yeah, man. <laughs> this shit is too miraculous and too amazing. Shit. This shit is too amazing. This proud devil can't do shit. This is the existence itself is amazing. You observe shit. See how it's, this shit is amazing. <laughs> With whom took he counsel? And who instructed him? And taught him in the path of judgment. And taught him knowledge. Oh yeah, so who's gonna teach the most high knowledge? Well, he's the one that gave the knowledge. Because the uh, Proverbs 1 and 7 says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So what does that mean? That means if you don't fear the Lord, you don't have any knowledge. That means you're retarded. And showed to him the way of understanding. Behold, the nations or as a drop of a bucket. So the, the Lord, the nations is a drop of a bucket. The, 
The Lord don't give a God damn about these heathens. What's up, man? God bless you. Behold! What God you talking about? Uh, the God that uh, blesses us. And you got a name? Well, there's so many different religions and so many things people believe. I just... I want to talk long, about religions. I was talking long, about... Long as you good inside you, whatever. What scripture is that? You're back on the where, that, where that scripture at? Well... I ain't seen that scripture. Yeah, where's, that, where's that in the Bible at? Well, I don't have I don't have time to debate. Oh, he ain't got time. Bible, Does your guy got time? I catch you on the next. Oh, the next one. You gonna catch them missiles? Next main street, just out of the Man, these people, man, they, they always think you can just do your own thing. You can worship whatever god you want. You can worship Shiva. Well, as you will. You can worship Buddha. You can, wor you can worship the devil. In America, you can you can actually worship the devil in America. You can walk down the street dressed up like the devil. Go to the church of Satan. You got people actually, they get metal horns implanted in their head. And they actually look like the devil. Walk, you got people walking down the street with crazy, got uh, giant earrings and nose rings. You got people with elf ears. <laughs> this place is all messed up, man. Hey, look, he's part of Hey, he's part of fraternity. See? He probably he fit it. Yeah, so that means he took part in homosexual ceremony. Balls in his mouth. Cause you know to join a fraternity, you gotta be a homosexual. If you want to join a fraternity or a sorority, you gotta be a homosexual, and you gotta do some gay shit, and you gotta worship the devil too. They all uh, send up prayers to Apollo and Athena. Where's that in the Bible? These people is wicked as hell, man. So about Ohio. What's up, guys? I don't know you. Curses on Ohio State. Yeah, we put curses on this place. We ain't trying to say what's up to you motherfuckers, man. <laughs> I don't know them faggots. Probably the football team or yeah. some bullshit. They got a busload of coops. That that bus looks scary. Was it? Yeah, I think that's the truth. Also. Man, because you know these churches ain't got no truth, man. Because all these churches got a bunch of fine ass women up in them. So if you got any truth, the women ain't, they're not going to go to your church, man. Go ahead. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the aisles as a very little thing. And leavener is not sufficient to burn nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations being for him are as nothing. So the Lord said he don't give a damn about you nations, okay? He don't give a damn about a heathen. So so the the Bible, these fools, these stupid ass Christians teach God loves everybody. He just said the nations are nothing to him. He said they're nothing. Y'all know what nothing means? He goes, all nations before him are as nothing. They don't get, I mean, that's clear, that's plain. And they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. And vanity. These people are vain, man. All these people are vain in their ways. Like when a woman, when she wake up and she put all that makeup on her face, start creating herself into a new person. A that, that, that's just complete vanity. It's a vain bitch. A vain bitch. To that, whom then will ye liken the most high? Or what likeness will ye compare unto him? The worker buildeth a graveth image, and the goldsmith print spreaded it over the gold and cast a silver chain. Yeah, like you gonna go paint a picture of God and make a statue, say that's God. That's what he, you know what I mean? He that is so impoverished that he hath no oblation choosing a tree that would not rot. That's a thing, so we're gonna go back to the crucifixes. Because these fake ass Christians, man, they always carry around these crucifixes rosemary beads every time they get in a tight situation they start kissing the cross <laughs> you know say they start kissing the, uh, the naked devil man, what is that man he seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved have ye not known have ye not heard have it not been told you from the beginning have ye not understood from the foundation of the earth it is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth. All right, on the circle of the earth. The Bible said the earth was a circle, obviously, or a sphere. And the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers. So, so yeah, we're like, 
We're like little ants to the most high. We're like little bugs compared to the most high, like grasshoppers. Mm -hmm. That stretches out the heavens as a curtain and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. Oh, I'll read that again, man. Read that again. That stretches out the heavens the as a curtain. Now, now listen, read this. I'm gonna read this. Read this one slow. Stretches out the heavens. That stretches out the heavens as a curtain. As a curtain. Keep going. And spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. And spreads out the heavens as a tent to dwell in. That's talking about different solar systems, different galaxies, different planets. That's all through the Bible. Space travels in the Bible. Keep going. Oh, these guys oh, ain't yeah. going to be doing it. Oh, I was just saying, that's a deep they scripture got a right there. vision of what we're going to be doing in the future. Because when you read that, so that's why you, when you read the scriptures, you can't be right reading through the scriptures all fast. Sometimes you got to stop and read a little slow, slow, it slow it down. You got to get a little better understanding. And you see the mysteries that start coming out. You know what I mean? Yep. Oh, I got it. And that's all through the... But the Bible says we can go to distant galaxies. The Lord said he has a place prepared for us. What you got? Oh, I'll go. Oh, I'll go. back to the... Oh, you know how I went into the idols and shit, man. I'm good with whatever you read, bro. Oh, that's good. We can keep going. I go back to it. We can get, we can get to it. There's not a single scripture that displeases me. Right. Oh shit, we should get Isaiah 47. I don't care how you read any of the prophets, I'll be good with anything. They all say, they all say nothing, good, nothing good to say for these people out here. That's right. Nothing. Oh, that was embarrassing. Oh, let me start at the top of 13. Wisdom of, wisdom of Solomon, the 13th chapter. Surely vain. <laughs> I almost sprained her ankle right, right. <laughs> as soon as she got right in front of us, she like sprained her ankle. <laughs> right, right. Hey, you ain't get out on camera, did you? I, I might have. Oh man. Well, she didn't really. She almost sprained her. <laughs> that's what she, I was like, yeah, that's embarrassing. Man. <laughs> She's so salty. Surely vain are all men by nature, who are who are ignorant of the Most High, and could not out of the good things that are seen know Him that is. Neither by considering the works. Did they acknowledge the workmaster? Yeah, because people they don't want to acknowledge the workmaster. They want to say that the whole universe has created itself, that people just uh, come from monkeys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that, that whole theory of evolution is just retarded. Because what was we before we was a monkey? It was like a fish. Like what was I before a fish? It's like you was a bacteria. Why? Like, what was I before a bacteria? It was like you was a rock. They'll say, so, they actually say we come from rocks. This is the dumbest shit. Where the fuck the rock come from? You mm. people sound like jackasses. Right. But deem either fire or wind or the swift air. I know the elite of the world, they don't believe in science. They worship the devil. They sacrifice children to Satan. That's just that bullshit they give you all, man. That's right. Or the circle of the stars. Uh, the circle of the stars. What's the circle of the stars? That's talking about the zodiac, right? Read that again. Is that what that's talking about? But deem either fire or wind, oh, or yeah. the swift air, or the circle of the stars, or the violent water, or the lights of heaven. So yeah, the circle of the stars, that's a zodiac. When you look up in the sky, that's a circle. And, and all the planets, they pretty much, uh, their rotation is a elliptical, well, you know, pretty much a circle. So the circle of the stars is the zodiac. And the Bible says that people was being wicked, and they was, uh, all into the zodiac, worshiping the stars, worshiping the planet. Right. It says, to be the gods which govern the world. He's, yeah, you're supposed to, yeah, the, this, ain't that what they think? All these people into astrology, yep. they think, the, they say as in uh, heaven on earth, as in the heavens on earth, meaning whatever ha happens in the heavens dictates what happens on the earth. That's what the elites believe in. Like uh, the presidents, all the congressmen, all these actors, they're all, they're all a bunch of devil worshippers. That's right. They're a bunch of astrologists. With whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods, let them know how much better the Lord of them is. Yeah, that's where all the ancient gods came from, like Hermes, Jupiter, Saturn. You know what I mean? Keep going. For the first author of beauty have created them. But if they were astonished at their power and virtue, let them understand by them how much mightier he is that made them. 
Yeah, so them, like I said before, let me see one of you devils out here make a fucking planet, man. See you make a solar system. Make an ant, a simple ant. You know, you look at it, it looks simple, you know, and... For by the greatness and the beauty of the creature, proportionably, the maker of them is seen. Oh yeah, because we got Esau. He tries to make some new life forms, a new creature, and he fucks it up. Like all this genetically modified food. GMO. They got, yeah, they got, they're feeding everybody genetically modified corn that causes tumors. And the test rats, did you see that? Mm -hmm. It was on the Alex Jones show. You see, he, had, he showed all these uh, rats, all these test rats that were being fed uh, genetically modified corn. Giant tumors. Giant tumors, tumors all over them. So all this genetically modified food you eat right now is going to kill you. So prepare to have a short life. Cause but yet, because y'all people, you even people don't care about what's really going on, man. Y'all want to stay in fucking fantasy land while they're feeding you genetically modified food. It's all fucked up, causing mutations, causing cancer, causing tumors, killing you. Y'all busy watching some goddamn football. Bunch of jackasses. And, and they put fluoride in your water too. That's a big joke. Harvard University just came out with it. I say this all the time. I'm gonna say it again. Harvard University came out with a study. Well, you gotta say it all the time. Because they kind of look at Harvard like this. Like the top shit, right? I'm have petition. I'm gonna say it real loud so they can hear it. The loud ass hillbilly car. Harvard University just came out with a study and they say it's a scientific fact that the fluoride in your water and the fluoride in your toothpaste causes brain damage. I bet you didn't know that, did you? Well, go grab a crap and glass of water. You, and you wonder why people are so stupid. Well, that's why. Because your government's been poisoning you. That's a scientific fact. Harvard University said it. That's like the top university. Better than this piece of shit school. <laughs> More prestigious than this piece of shit. That's right. <laughs> There's a bunch of dummies come out of OSU. Bunch of all y'all got is football. That's it. That's all you got. And you ain't got y'all got that took. I can't even go to a bowl game. Got hit with them curses. Got hit with them motherfucking curses. Oh yeah. Oh, that's what y'all get, man. A bunch of devils. <laughs> Go ahead. But yet, for this day, are the less to be blamed. But they pure venture air, seeking the most high and desires to find him. For being conversant in his works, they search him diligently and believe their sight, because the things are beautiful that are seen. Howbeit, neither are they to be pardoned. For if they were able to know so much that they could aim at the world, how did they not sooner find out the Lord thereof? Yeah, that, that breaks some scientists down, them agnostics. And then here it is, people call themselves an agnostic, don't even know what the word means. Agnostic is a Greek word that means you don't know. So when you say you're agnostics, you're really saying you don't know shit. You're like, look at me, I'm a know nothing. That's what you're saying. That's just, every time I think about that, I just laugh at these fools. Keep going. But miserable are they. They're miserable. That bunch of miserable fools. That's why a lot of them be committing suicide too. Be getting all sad. Mm -hmm. Like we just yeah. I was listening to the scanner uh, yesterday, the other day. I mean, it was like a couple days straight. Bitches was trying to think about committing suicide. They calling in. <laughs> you know. What about Ridley Scott's brother? He jumped off of <laughs> Right, right. Now, that's something different though. He still committed suicide. I don't know. I could have killed him. Go ahead. And in dead things is their hope, who call them gods, which are the works of men's hands, gold and silver, to show art in, a resemblance of beast, or a stone good for nothing, the work of an ancient hand. Oh, it said a stone good for nothing. That breaks down that stupid Kaaba stone over there in uh, Mecca. Then them, them, them jackass Muslims, they worship a damn rock. The Bible says you're not supposed to worship a rock. That's what them heathens do over there in uh, Saudi Arabia. They all dance around a rock. The Bible speaks out against that. And the Bible is the supreme authority. 
I mean, I mean, who who in their right mind would actually worship a rock? You know what I mean? Fuck a rock. So that tells you how stupid Muslims are. Keep going. Well, I tell you another reason why Muslims are stupid is that that top prophet, Muhammad, couldn't even read or write. If Muhammad couldn't read or write, who the hell wrote the Quran? <laughs> so that tell you that's a religion created by a retard for retards. Now a carpenter that fell of timber after he has sewn down a tree meet for the purpose and taken off all the bark skillfully round about and has brought it handsomely and made a vessel thereof fit for the service of a man's life and after spending the refuse of his work to dress his meat has filled himself and taking the very refuge among those were served to, to no use being a crooked piece of wood a crooked piece of wood and full of knots full of, yeah you know you get a knotted piece of wood it ain't no damn